I'm going to give you this little bonus here. It's a really critical management tool. I was called to New Zealand this April to help a client. $100 million business making a $9 million profit, and he put in a $1 million management team to run the business so he could spend more time with his wife, he told me. And over three years, this gift that he was given back by his million dollar management team was to take a $3 million, sorry, a $9 million profit, $9 million profit, and grow it into a $300,000 loss over three years. And he said, I think I need help. So I went and I spent a week with him in New Zealand, and what we came up with was four questions, because what he was doing, he'd lost faith in his management team, and, and now he was micromanaging. He was running three, four levels down in the organization and micromanaging and making it even worse. And he said, what do I do? I'm completely lost here. And I said, the answer is four simple questions. Every time you see something in your business that is not up to the four commitments, the commitments to customers, to our bottom line, to each other on the team, and to our community, make a list every day of all the things you see that aren't being done the way you think. They ought to be done according to your understanding of the commitments. And then I want you to sit down with your CEO, the guy that you put in charge to run the business so you could spend more time with your wife. He'd already told me the CEO, he has a contract with him that if he fires him within five years, he has to give him another $250,000 to let him go, even though he's driven the thing into the ground. So he said, I don't want to pay him that money. I said, you don't have to. Just ask him these four questions. Make the list every day. Sit down with your CEO every morning and one by one by one go through. And this is just transformational in your business if you're an owner or a manager. Point number one, thing that I have observed yesterday that's not being done according to our commitments to customers, to our bottom line, to each other or to the community. And you tell them what number one is and then ask them these four questions about it and every other thing you see that you don't like in this business of yours. Number one, do you understand what we're committed to with regard to this specific thing? Do you understand? You know what? The answer is yes or no. It's yes or no. And if he understands, move to question number two. If he doesn't understand, if he says he doesn't understand, there's two possibilities. Number one, he genuinely doesn't understand and you screwed up, you did not communicate and you have to fix it. Number two, he actually does understand perfectly, he's just being a weasel. Half the time in my experience that employees say they didn't understand what you wanted in this particular regard, they understand perfectly, they're just being weasels, they don't want to take responsibility, and they're weaseling their way out. Get rid of weasels, they're killing you. Question number two, now that you understand, do you embrace that commitment? Do you 100% wholeheartedly support that commitment? And you know what? The answer is yes or no. And if the answer is yes, move on to the third question. If the answer is no, there's now three possibilities. Number one, they genuinely believe that you're wrong and they're right, that you're out of touch, and they try to get you to change your mind with regard to that commitment. And that could happen. They engage you in respectful debate to get you to change your mind because they believe they're right and you're wrong. And if you have people working for you who genuinely care about the business, if they genuinely believe that you are wrong and they are right, they should engage you in respectful debate to get you to change your mind, and you should allow them to do that. Number two, they could change their mind and get with the damn program. <laughs> Number three, they could leave. Life's never that complicated when you think about it. Then question number three, now that you understand the commitment and you embrace it, can you make it happen? Do you have the ability, the commitment, the tools. And if you don't have the tools, is there anything preventing you from making it happen that I, as the, the owner or of the business or the manager of this department, that I can get for you in the way of resources to help you? But given that, can you make it happen? And the answer is yes or no. And if the answer is yes, go to the next question. If the answer is no, the universe is speaking to both of you. And question number four, when will I see it happen? And if it's a long-term project, when will I see a plan to make it happen? Because if it's a long-term project, one year or two years, you don't want to just say, when will I see it happen? And they say two years, and you check back with them in two years, and they haven't made it happen, and you're sitting there pissing on the ashes. A somewhat inelegant, but effective term. So there are four questions, and, and, and I gave them to him on the 7th of April, and he called me, and I said, guaranteed, the guy will leave in two to three months. He called me on the 7th of June. He said, the turkey has flown the coop. <laughs> and he forgot to ask for his $250,000. Thank you. How could those four questions, do you understand, do you embrace it, can you make it happen, and when will I see it happen, how could they change your business and your management style? Because they're back on track now. They're back on track in a powerful way. 